My name is Amna Beg. I'm a superintendent of police with the Police Service of Pakistan. I've been a career law enforcement officer for the past seven years. Apart from my regular responsibilities, I'm heavily involved with uh, countering gender-based violence back home in Pakistan and uh, ensuring prevention of the same. I am at USIP to talk more about how we together uh, with the United States Institute of Peace and Pakistan Police Force together work towards countering gender-based violence in Pakistan and ensuring that there is women empowerment in the country. Pakistan is the fifth most populous country in the world. It's a country of 220 million people. Half of the population is women. And in order to ensure that there are easily accessible paths to justice uh, for these women, a gender protection unit was created. Uh, due to cultural and traditional restraints, most of the times the women do not find it very, uh, the police stations very accessible for them. And one of the main reasons is that uh, the police, female police officers in Pakistan make up less than 2% of the total police force. So in order to bridge that gap, uh, we created this gender protection unit. Uh, and the model was that from the start of the victim or the survivor's interaction with the criminal justice system till the completion of inv their investigation, everything would be handled by female police officers. It's a 24-hour walk-in facility. It comes with a hotline, which is 24 hours available. And uh, every anytime you walk into that uh, facility or you make a call, you would always have a female police officer responding to you. One of the main lessons that we learned uh, was that we need more female police officers in the service. Uh, I'm a firm believer of the fact, especially back in my country for the past seven years, through my experiences, I've learned that uh, only women can access women. To in, order, in order to ensure that the 110 million women of Pakistan have easy access to justice, it's so, so important for us to have more female police officers in the force. The first six months of establishment of Gender Protection Unit, we received a thousand plus complaints from across the city of Islamabad uh, that showed us the need for, for it, for the Gender Protection Unit. Uh, because it gained a lot of media attention, uh, a lot of other provincial police departments got in touch with us in order to ensure that they replicate the same model across Pakistan. Uh, we helped them uh, train their staff, we, help, we told them how the model was working, and we ensured that we tell them from our learnings what was needed to improve whatever we had set up for now. The United States Institute of Peace team back in Pakistan was a lot of help. Uh, they were a lot of support uh, and we look forward to continuing our partnership with them. The gender issue does not have a single solution. It needs support from the community. It needs support from the government. Uh, basically, it needs a holistic approach towards solving uh, whatever problems that the women of a country face in regards to domestic violence or gender-based violence. In order to ensure that we support the victims, we ensure that re their re rehabilitation is in place, we ensure that we have shelter homes for them, we ensure that they have mental health uh, facilities available. Uh, we need support from non-profit organizations, we need support from uh, international community, we need support from organizations such as USIP in order to ensure that more women of uh, my country Pakistan are empowered.